Hey Leo Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel, welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. Let's go ahead and do a love reading for the Leo Collective. Okay, I want to just pull three of these cards. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip the rose if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you I'm picking up on. I will be using the playing deck today. So all the, the um, cards in the tarot are not here. There will be no um, major arcana. We have the four swords in reverse. We have the three of cups. And we have the king of swords. So we have Aquarius, Cancer, Libra. And then we have the two of swords here. Hmm. Okay. Well, it feels like something has been stuck between you and someone. Maybe you two haven't been seeing eye to eye. Okay. This will be your love life predictions for this week. Okay. So the first week of June. For some of you, somebody is coming out of hiding is what I just heard. Okay. Maybe someone you haven't spoken to over, over the last four weeks. Maybe something happened four weeks ago between you and they. But this person is thinking about you, okay? And they want to talk. But I feel like you haven't spoken. You might be two stubborn people and it's just that a stalemate is stuck. Somebody's like ignoring their feel feelings or something here. Maybe, maybe somebody has an attitude. Okay. Let's see what you get here. I'm using some different decks today. These are not dedicated love decks, but... I'm going to read them that way. So we have the two of wands. Yeah, you could be at a distance from this person. Maybe someone catches a train to visit the other. We have the number 46. And then we have the, um, what equals two days here. You could be dealing with an Aries. So I'm seeing here someone make their way to you. It says the railroad forecasts a long journey. If near the number 44, a serious accident. If near 29, a robbery. So we will see what other numbers come out. Don't pay attention to the, you know, the troubling information on the cards because that's not what we're reading it for. Okay, but we will see. If I feel like I need to tell y'all something like that, I will. I'm not seeing anything to be concerned about. But I do feel like someone could be 46. Um, some of you are born on the 2nd, the 3rd, the 4th. What's the 2 of Wands? So this is either someone at a distance thinking about traveling towards you. Okay, they could be far away. It says a long journey. Okay, so let's see. So we have the number 31 here, and this is the Ace of Wands. So this is a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius for a lot of you. It says the rose turn to the dark clouds foretells misadventures, but far from the person, the evil consequences may be averted. You see the sun coming up here. I feel like you two want to talk to each other, want to see each other so bad. There's still passion here. Ace of Wands. Oh, yeah. The Ace of Wands is um, chemistry. It's physical attraction, okay? And that's clarifying the Three of Cups, which is a reconciliation. Or somebody thinking about how much fun they had with you, wanting to reconcile, okay? Y'all know, <laughs> I'm telling y'all, moving forward on my channel, I'm not dealing with past people that you don't want in your life. So this is probably just someone you may be not speaking to or maybe you don't even know this person maybe this is a past life soulmate somebody you just recently met okay um but yeah this is either a new a whole new relationship coming in with the sun kind of rising in the back here some of you may be coming out of another relationship going into another relationship i kind of feel like your person is at a distance or they're like really busy i don't know why i feel this okay so let's see what else comes out so the king of swords is someone very honest, a stand-up person, okay, somebody who respects you, a very truthful, um, a stand-up guy or, or woman, okay, what's the king of swords, this is something that they want to say to you, what do they want to say to you? So we have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. It says, children signify friendly disposition and gentleness. Yeah, I do feel like this is the number 12. Okay, that's giving me the hangman. So you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Capricorn. But this is like 
you and someone may have a lot of history for some of you, um, but this is someone you're actively with or someone you actively care about. Again, we're not talking about exes that you don't want. The Two of Swords is the Queen of Wands. Some of you could be um, same gender, two women. Okay, so this is Aries energy. It says wine is the symbol of cheerfulness and gaiety. I feel like there is someone here admiring you. This could be someone famous or you could be in the spotlight. Okay. Somebody here is very wealthy. This is a very generous person, a generous feminine energy, even if it's a, even if it's a man. Okay. It doesn't have to be a woman. There's no gender in tarot, but I do feel like there's someone here who wants to do something for you. It feels like they want to they want you to know that they're serious about you. They want you to know that even if they haven't been able to fully open up to you, they have enjoyed their time with you. It's not just the sex. They want you to know that they really do care. They really do. Because the Queen of Pentacles is someone who cares deeply for you. Now let's get some more. What's going on with the Four of Wands in reverse to the Two of... I'm sorry, the Four of Swords in reverse to the Two of Wands, which is somebody coming out of like a quiet energy, coming back to the world, and it looks like maybe traveling towards you, just making a move in your direction. So we have the moon, the number 32. That could be significant. And then this deck, this is the Eight of Cups. This is someone who you may have walked away from or walked away from you. It feels temporary. It does not feel like a long-term thing. For some of you, it's been no more than eight months. Others of you, it's been like a month. It could even be days that you haven't been speaking to someone. The slumbering moon, when it rises near, means that great honors are bound to appear. Intuition and perception soar in the night. Emotions wax and wane in the moon's light. I told you, you two, there's been some kind of stalemate here. I feel like somebody may have been resisting their feelings or unsure of their feelings here. There could be fear that has kept someone from like committing to you. It feels like a very casual relationship. It really does. It feels like it has some sexual undertones. It feels like it does have some emotions, some feelings. Don't get me wrong. But it feels like fun. It feels like you've been having fun with someone, enjoying their company, or you will, if this is a new person that you'll meet this week. You have a lot of fast-paced energy here, though. The only slow card that you have, really, is the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, the eight, I mean, the moon is, for some reason, they have it as the eight of cups. So this could be a Pisces or a Cancer. But these two are the, like, the slowest cards that you have here. The rest translate to days and weeks. So I don't feel like this is something that's been dragging on for a long time. What's the Ace of Wands? I, I feel like somebody here wants to be <laughs> intimate with you, spend time with you, take you out. I'm seeing someone ask you out to eat. As you can see, it looks like she's about to cook something here. So they could be asking you out on a date. And the Three of Cups can talk about getting together, having a celebration. For some of you, this could be something that happens around your birthday. Okay. What is this? So we have the Lady. And this is clarifying the Three of Cups and the Ace of Wands. And this is the number 29. And this would translate to the Queen of Swords, which is Libra energy. It says the number 29 could be significant. This charming woman with flowers in her hand, as with the gentleman, her cards will command. The fortunes reveal once the cards have been placed, unveil the fate that destiny traced. So whoever this person is, they're coming up as a counterpart because you have the king and queen of swords in two different decks showing up here. So this could be someone um, that you, it's like you're meant to be with this person. You two are a true pair. I'm hearing D'Angelo, you're my lady, play in my head. I feel like this person is ready to claim you. Queen of Wands is here. This is when someone is ready to take you from, like, just being their girlfriend to actually being in a relationship, okay? Yeah, Three of Wands is under that Aries energy. And this talks about something building momentum, okay? The tree, good health, near flowers, fulfilling of highest hopes, the number five. And like I said, this is translating the three days as well. I feel like there's someone here. And then the King of Wands, <laughs> So you have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. So you two definitely, I feel like you're close, very close to either getting into a relationship with this person. It says the bear is a sign of successful speculations. Yeah. So for some of you, this is Leo energy. This is Aries energy. This is Aries energy. This is your counterpart because you have two true pairs here. Someone could be 50, born on the 5th or be 40 years old. So, hmm. Let's get one more. What's going on with the Queen of Pentacles? I feel like somebody reach out to you or make a move towards you if this is a brand new person. So we have the garden. 
Okay, y'all let me count these swords. Give me a second. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, this feels like somebody who's ready to break this, like either no contact or maybe just kind of holding themselves back, doubting themselves. Maybe they're a bit anxious to say something to you. The number 20, someone's birthday could be on the 20th or the number 20 could be significant. It says the gardens entreat to a party you'll go. The Three of Cups is here. New friends will arrive and romance will flow. Life's to be enjoyed with nature all around. In this verdant setting, beauty and peace abound. I feel like this is your person. This feels like a very beautiful energy. I know one thing, they're financially stable. I've been telling y'all that they're very logical. They could be a boss. They could be a supervisor. There's someone in a position of power, that's for sure. Or they have a lot of control over themselves. Bottom of the deck, look what we have, the ring. Yep, and this is a, a fire sign for a lot of you. It says, ring to the right, your love is alive. It will ever be bright and continue to thrive. Ring to the left and troubles begin. Your heart will be cleft and filled with chagrin. Well, so the number 25 is here. Someone can have Taurus in their chart. I'm looking at this emerald ring. You could be connected to a Taurus. Okay, so this feels like someone who could be um, thinking about going deeper with you. I really feel that. I feel like somebody here has... The, the relationship has moved from just a casual, sexual, whatever, or maybe even just a friendly kind of flirtatious energy to, I really like you. I'm going to have a conversation with you. Um, I care about you. And let's build something. Some of you could be going to a party this week. That is highlighted here twice. Or you could be going out with this person, getting something to eat, having some drinks, or doing something pretty casual, but I do feel like they will have a conversation with you about going deeper, okay? So that is what I see for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Oh, you know what, y'all? Let me pull some of these because I wanted to use these today. Okay, that's too many. Uh -uh. I'll get four. Okay, Leo, what we got for you? We have Karma. Okay. And then we have heartbreak. Okay. What else? Someone could have said something hurtful to you. Maybe you just had an argument with someone. And we have unhealed. Y'all pull unhealed all the time. This feels like this is this past person coming back. Yeah. Okay. So I do feel like there is someone here who hurt you in the past who's trying to come through again. They're suffering some karma. They are unhealed and they're frustrated, but you're moving on. So we're not going to, you know, worry about that. We're going to wish them well. God bless them. But this person right here is someone that you would want to hear from. Maybe you two just aren't seeing eye to eye right now. It happens, you know, not all relationships are perfect. No relationship is perfect. So Moving forward, when I do my readings, if I pull on energy where you may not be in contact, I'm not going to be talking about people from the distant past that you lost contact with that you don't care about because that's a waste of my energy and your time. So I'm just going to deal with people who I feel like you want to hear from, but maybe you two still aren't speaking. Like I said, no relationship is perfect. So just because you love and care about them, it doesn't mean that everything is good between you right now. So that's who I'm reading for, okay, from now on. So y'all, don't leave me comments fussing me out. <laughs> I don't want to hear about past people. I don't either. So I'm just going to be dealing with people who are currently in your energy. Because obviously, if I'm picking up on your energy, these are people that you are thinking about. Okay? All right, y'all. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will see you all next time. Peace.